does not carry the blood the blood is from man the seed is from man and that's why mary yes mary produced the body but the blood came from god that's why jesus himself he was sinless because the seed was from god and that's the reason why jesus became our redeemer that's the reason why jesus is our redeemer there's nobody else who had that blood and who could be able to save us if not jesus christ and then somebody asks so you want to tell me there's something spiritual about blood you want to tell me there's something spiritual about blood yeah for sure there's something spiritual about it because the bible tells us in the book of isaiah 53 that he poured out his soul for us he poured out his soul for us now if jesus was pouring out his soul it means the soul is in the blood and the soul is eternal my friends it is about time we understood the gospel and why jesus had to shed his blood if you say that you don't believe in jesus let me ask you how are you going to be saved then how are you going to be saved because there's nobody else who can die for you who else can be able to give you perfect blood there's nobody but i tell you my friends it is only jesus whom you hate that is going to save you if only you believe and he says that it's with open arms that he's still speaking to you there is still time for you to believe but then if you don't want to believe the choice is yours nobody forces you about your faith it's your life many people have come and go the bible tells us in the book of ecclesiastes that there is nothing new under the sun people have come they have gone some have been mighty some have been great others have done this and that names which you still remember till date people come and go but the word of god shall stand if only you believe when you still can hear the voice of god the bible says if you hear the voice of god do not harden your hearts do not harden your hearts today is the day of salvation today is the day of salvation do not be deceived don't be deceived that you will go to heaven in another way there's only one way there's only one way to go to christ to go to god the father it is through jesus christ our lord you can try to go to heaven through your own means you can try to give to the poor thinking that you will go to heaven you won't go you will give to the poor and still go to hell others they think because i pray so much i will go to heaven my friends it doesn't matter how many times you pray but you will still go to hell if you don't believe in jesus some people say i went all the way to the east to go and pray i went there and i prayed and i and i fasted for a number of months you know who i'm talking about but at the end of the day you will still go to hell because you don't believe you don't believe that jesus is god and that's where satan has you the bible says you can never say that jesus is lord unless by the holy spirit you can never say that jesus is god unless by the power of the holy spirit because there are so many people who can never hear the gospel there are many people have you ever tried to preach to people but they don't understand anything you try to preach to them but it's like you're just you know playing guitar to a god they will not understand can i tell you something there are so many people here in the world today who are not human so many i can tell you probably over half they are not human they cannot hear the word of god they cannot hear the voice of god and that's why jesus said if you can hear the voice of god do not harden your heart you're still human you're still human if you can hear if you can hear the conviction of god do not harden your heart you are still a human but if you cannot hear then warn to you ask yourself what's happening because there are so many people here today 
They look human, but they are not human. They are here, here walking amongst us. And that's why Jesus gave a parable and said, we have wheat and tares, let them grow together. But on the day of judgment, they shall be plucked and they shall be thrown to the lake of fire. My friends, check out yourself. If you can hear that God's voice, remember that you're still a human. And that's why God is drawing himself to you. Every day you're, you're checking left, right and center and God is speaking to your heart. He's speaking to you and telling you there's still hope. There's still hope. Believe. Believe. But Satan is telling you, no, we're so many of us. My friends, maybe your team is full of non-human beings. And that's why, ask yourself, look at most of the people who never really want to hear about things of God. They're always successful, something about that. Because Satan will give you success, not, not just of money, but of fame. He'll give you, he'll give you all the things you need in this world. And, and you will never, never, never even consider salvation. Look at the most countries where we have a lot of atheists. It's where, people, it's where we have success. You see, the wisdom of this world is foolishness. Is foolishness. The wisdom of this world has nothing to offer. But to those who are being saved, the gospel is the power of God unto salvation. Many people don't know where the power is. The power is not in politics. The power is not in having a good life, a good family. The power is not in money. The power is not in a good name. The power is found in the gospel. It is the power of God unto salvation. But many people don't know where the power is. You're looking for power in the wrong things. And the Bible tells us, you shall all perish if you don't believe. All you need to do, my friends, is believe the gospel. Believe because I've given you the whole explanation of what the gospel is all about. The gospel is not going to church. The gospel is not about doing good. Those are fine things, but they can't save you. The gospel is not praying five times a day. The gospel is not those things that you hold so mighty. The gospel is the word of God. Jesus is the word of God made flesh so that he could come here. The word could come here and save us. Jesus himself is the word of God which was made flesh for us. And unless you believe, you shall all perish like fools. You shall all be destroyed. In hell, people are praying every day. But there's nobody who can answer their prayers. People are crying in hell every day, saying, oh, please, hear me. God, I'm ready now, I'm ready now. But nobody hears. In hell, people are praying. Nobody answers their prayers. They keep on crying every day. Just like that rich man and the Lazarus story. He lived a very sumptuous life. He lived a very good life. He ate, drunk, had peace with himself, had nothing to worry about. He didn't worry about his eternity. He didn't worry about the things which were to come. And the rich man was sitting in high places. And Lazarus, all that he had was God. All that he had was a peace which comes from God. And that's that satisfaction which only comes from God. And he could cry to God every day and say, God, you're my hope. You're my only hope. And when the two died, Lazarus was taken to Abraham's bosom. And he was there rejoicing, relaxing, feeling good after he has done all the things that he was to do on this earth. But the rich man, when he died, he was buried. He went to hell. And in hell, he saw, he saw Lazarus. And he told him, Lazarus, dip a finger into water and give me a drop of water into my tongue. 
He could not understand how comes this poor man is in a good place and I'm here being tormented. It all depends where you put your hope. The rich man is hopeless in things and in royal robes and in his money and in the things that he owned and in his power. You see how people are fighting for power every day, making people to fight and die every day. This is just a snake with two heads. Don't be lied by it. This team or that team or that team, they are all the same snake. They have just been put there by the devil to confuse you and tell you that you have a choice. You have no choice. If you had a choice, they will not let you even go out there and make that choice. It is because they are just a team sent by the enemy to confuse you. To forget your hope, which is in Christ Jesus. All you need to do, my friends, don't forget your hope. The blessed hope that we have. This hope, nobody else has, has it. And Satan hates you so much because he cannot be redeemed. But us, we have the blood of Jesus Christ to redeem us from our sins. We can be redeemed, my friends. Satan and his angels, they cannot be redeemed. But for us, we can be redeemed. For us, we have eternal life. But Satan doesn't want you to see that. The Bible says, the God of this world, Satan, has blinded the minds of the people that they will not see the truth and be saved.